elevator pitch. Helium mining is incredibly profitable. It makes no noise, it produces no heat, and the cost to get in is very low. In my opinion, this isn't financial advice, but you'd be stupid not to try it. Today we're gonna to be looking at a new Helium Hotspot manufacturer. I've also got a discount code finally for you guys. So use our code BOSSCOIN and save some money if you wanna order a miner. Depending on the placement, my Helium Hotspot miners are still earning up to around 20 bucks a day, and I don't have any like, you know, perfect ideal placements. I'm just around the suburbs, mainly in Northern Virginia, which is a populated area. But the fact remains that helium mining is incredibly profitable, especially as the helium or the people's network grows, the HNT token skyrockets and continues to simply just grow in price. But, but you know, slow, slow down. Let's check out the links down my Thought we were gonna look at the miner and also not talk about tails. Our resident Shiba Inu Doge and the owner of the Voscoin YouTube channel. My name is Vosk. Make sure to slap that subscribe button. And today we're gonna to jump into a Lynx Dot Helium Hotspot Miner review. If you've ever wanted to mine Bitcoin, then you should head to minewithcompass.com and learn how they're making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin now. They sell Bitcoin miners, they will connect you with facilities, co-location, which enables you to host your Bitcoin miners with some of the best Bitcoin mining farms in the world. Click the link below to learn how you can start mining with Compass today. Hi everyone, my name is Vosk, and today we're going to be talking about helium mining. But what quite is, I can't do it like that. Today, my, you know, yo, boss, what's up? Welcome back to the Chan. Okay, I love mining, passive income, all that stuff, chasing like financial freedom. I wanna make money when I'm sleeping. That's the only way to break the chains. Okay, understand that. Relish it. We're focused, jumping right into it. Links dot, what is links dot? Okay, it's a new helium hotspot miner manufacturer. Let's talk about that. Over 300,000 hotspots on the network now crazy this network is exploding what does that mean a more valuable network what does that mean is that the helium hnt price will continue to go up like we've already talked about many times so even if the network doubles and you receive half as much hnt you're likely going to see a 4x or more in the helium hnt token look it's not financial advice and nothing's guaranteed in this world but just do the math run the basic numbers and have just a little bit of fortitude so there's a lot of manufacturers and we've talked about well, really most of them here on the channel, and if not, we're going to in the near future. Let's run through the specs of the Linkstat though, right? It's it's a smaller, lesser known manufacturer. The platform here, it's a Raspberry Pi with LoRa support, right? Like basically all helium hotspot miners are relatively the same. So there are a few differences in the manufacturing, the power supplies, the cases, and the main difference you're gonna see between the different models is simply going to be an antenna. So with this, you get a 3 DBI LoRa antenna with the Lynx Dot Miner. If you are either unhappy with your Helium Hotspot Miner profitability, or you want to potentially see even more profitability, we recommend upgrading to the 5.8 DBI antenna from Rack. The 8 DBI antenna is another antenna you can explore as well. Basically, your mileage may vary. This is a complex subject, but again, Tinkering is how helium miners find the best results and the most mining profitability. I've personally ordered my antennas from Rack Wireless directly. They're as cheap as it gets and you get them shipped pretty quick. But wait, there's more. If you use the code VOSCOIN5, you get 5% off. And another thing to note is the way the uh, the power supply is set up on this. So it has what like people refer to sometimes as a barrel connector, a barrel power supply connector as shown here. So just kind of understand that and keep that in mind. The cool thing about the Lynx Dot Hotspot, okay, is that they support 915 frequency and 868 and AU 915. So some things to keep, keep in mind here is that some of these Helium Hotspot miners, they will auto switch for 915 regions, for example, United States and Australia. Some do not. And every single Helium Hotspot miner that you could possibly order is a pre-order. Why? 
because helium is so hot it's so in demand it's so profitable you've got 500 dollars devices paying themselves off in maybe a month do you understand the return on investment the roi right the just the, the returns are unreal with this and i'm not hyping it i'm not shilling it i'm not trying to create fomo i've got helium miners i'm having fun i'm set but if you are watching the channel and you want to open up a new source of basically income this is an excellent thing to simply evaluate and another key thing about Linkstot that you need to know and understand is that they accept credit and debit cards as well as cryptocurrency, which some manufacturers do not. Let's address the buzzkill right now. The lead time, it's, it's definitely going to be a few months. There's no mistaking that. But don't worry, we can ease the pain with our code VICECOIN. It gets you 3% off. And the other thing I want to mention is if you do decide to order the Linkstop Miner, please use our link in the video description below to support the channel. We've got full-time team members and, uh, you know, just really trying to bring you guys the best content on crypto I can every single day. And if you're going to buy it anyway, again, please, you know, support the channel. We get credit for it. Otherwise, well, we never get credit for it. Forget me and the fact that I have one. We'll talk a little bit more about my experience with the Linkstop Miner here in a second. Let's shout out our incredible Voscoin community, specifically out of the Voscoin Discord server, and we're gonna talk, touch on the Voscoin forum here shortly. So this is Feiyu94, if I said your name right, yeah, hell yeah, if I said it wrong, I'm sorry. But to compare here, he says, my Link's dot is running very solid compared to my other ones like the Sense Cap and the Helltech. He hasn't had a single problem with it. The instant sync feature, which was ported over from Synchrobit, is neat. He's had his up in his loft, was worried about the temps, and saw the fan on the heat sink. It drops at about 10 Celsius. He also upgraded the antenna, but notes that he put the, that antenna on another hotspot, and you know, it's been all right. It's been fine. Then we have KTP, kill the planet, the man, the myth, the legend, and the, the writer, the everything when it comes to the Helium HNT hotspot mining wiki with almost 1,100 edits, my friends. That is nothing short of absolutely crazy. The wealth of information here could blow your mind. Most likely, if you have a single question about helium mining, this wiki has it. And if not, I hope your boy, that's that's me, hopefully, covered it in one of our recent helium mining videos. But let's touch on a note here, and then we'll touch on his review. What's interesting about the Lynx Dot is, you know, there's some issues with memory filling up every few days, whatever. So the Lynx Dot is set to auto reboot every day to try to mitigate that issue. Maybe it's not ideal, but hey, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. It helps you basically earn Helium HNT mining here. So looking at a KTP's review here, the pros, fast sync out of the box. Thanks to the instant sync from uh, Synchrobit firmware. And look, we've, we've talked about Synchrobit and there's some issues there, but they are renowned with good firmware and a very nice dashboard. So those are some things to keep in mind. The firmware features advanced settings, but again, that really goes as a nod to Synchrobit there. The Bluetooth and pairing mode does not require physical access on the local dashboard or five minutes after power on. And then he said that he got decent performance out of the bundle 3B, 3 dBi antenna for, with, with his initial testing. Doesn't like the six LEDs, I agree. They're honestly just kind of gross on the eyes. Casing size is 1.5x too big for the kit inside. And yeah, the case, that that is why I always like the rack design where their their device is just so small. It may not be our favorite hotspot miner like the Bobcat Miner 300 is, but it, the, the small form factor of the rack makes it easy to stick kind of anywhere. He was disappointed that PoE or Power Over Ethernet was initially mentioned in the uh, HIP19 application, which these are really cool. They're on the Helium GitHub and basically manufacturers have to apply to create Helium hotspot miners. If you don't, well, you, you're, they're not allowed to be DIY'd. You can't, you know, do it yourself, create your own Helium Hotspot Miner anymore because some people were trying to game that and malicious. But really the fact of the matter is that Helium Inc. wants to, you know, maintain some control over their crypto because there is a big centralized aspect of Helium. And, well, they want to make a ton of money. And, and Helium is making a ton of money. So remember, it's Helium Inc., Helium Incorporated. You cannot use their logo for anything that you want to. So no USB-C uses a barrel plug. Absolutely agree. I don't like the old school barrel plugs. How many of those have we broken grow, growing up? Cloud-based vendor managed dashboard for fleet management would be nice. Uh, so I think these are all absolutely fantastic concerns here. Hey guys, it's Miss Fosk, and I'm here to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Mondo Community Coin. Mondo Community Coin is here to revolutionize e-commerce. Mondo is made for producers, entrepreneurs, and consumers like us who want to participate and benefit from socially sustainable development of online trading. 
Their goal is to provide companies of all sizes, even the little guys, a greater online reach and presence. When working in e-commerce, there's lots of problems that you can come across. There's ownership, cost, middlemen, communication, fake reviews, and so on. Mondo is looking to solve these problems on their platform by providing a safe and cost-effective marketplace for sellers and buyers. They have an inclusive and transparent active community, and when you buy Mondo coin, you become a sponsor and beneficiary of the coin. You can help with the vision of the project and make contributions, and the token also gives you power-ups within the Mondo e-commerce habitat. Their white paper also talks about a few different features within the platform, like Mondo Academy, where holders can have a spot to attend meetings and seminars and lectures, and there are gaming and movie lounges, and a concert hall. Token holders will have access to all these different platforms for a cost of just a few tokens. So Mondo is run on the Ethereum blockchain and is available for purchase on Probit and Uniswap. They also have a private sales section where you can buy through PayPal, credit card, or wire transfer. So looking at their roadmap, we can see that their token lo launched in quarter one of 2021. They started private sales in quarter two, and in this quarter, they're planning to launch a Mondo coin staking platform in addition to their sustainable shopping section on Mondo Green. Seems like everybody's doing staking nowadays, but they actually have a pretty cool detailed roadmap that gives you real time updates on where they are with the progress on each of their steps and what the future looks like for the community. So they currently have over 10,000 members across over 40 countries. So if you're interested in MonoCoin, check out the link in the video description below. This is not financial advice. As always, do your research before investing into any platform. A key note to tie this together also is that the Pi CM4 is being phased out for the rock chip board. So newer batches will be featuring the rock chip board. Just, uh, you know, basically, basically some tech nerd stuff to kind of be aware of there. So really kind of what's what's my take right how do what has this been good to me yeah so remember all helium hotspot miners are relatively the same and all of the antennas can be changed so if you're like oh well i can get this one but i, I don't like that antenna well get a different one i will say that i absolutely love the bobcat miner 300 antenna in our performance in our testing I still don't have enough data with the links dot, even though I've been running this for probably about a month now. And it just, it takes more time, multiple deployments, locations, like, you know, it, it's a lot of people want to turn around and shout this, that, that, and whatever, but real hard data takes time and you need multiple miners. And I only have one links dot where I have, you know, several Bobcat Miner 300s. So to answer, the links dot miner is fine. It's good. It's a helium hotspot miner. It works. They are real, they are approved by Helium Inc. They have shipped out units. And their lead time is not the best, but hey, as long as they can hit their lead time with accuracy, instead of, you know, absolutely scammy, um, you know, moving the goalpost performance like we've seen from Synchrobit, SPNA or SP North America, where they projected May and those my, those helium hotspots that were projected for shipping in, in some some of them were projected in April. Understand that they were supposed to get these shipped out in April or May, and then when it came time around November, some of those people are or actually most of those people are still waiting. Right, Calchip has been one of the worst. It's like you order and you get it a year later. And so Linkstot has done a good job with some of their initial fulfillment. And uh, also, I just want to make a note. Obviously, this is all an opinion. This is not financial advice. And none of this is defamation or slander. Um, go ahead. Uh, sorry. Just, you know, my, my lawyer said I had to say that. It's funny the way things go when you start speaking your mind, speaking honestly. But yeah, back on topic, the simple fact is that this miner is reasonably priced like uh, in line with its competitors. The discount code is obviously nice. Not all vendors offer a discount code. They have an affiliate program as well, which encourages you know people like me and other content creators to review and feature these miners. But above all, my goal is simply to review every Helium Hotspot miner manufacturer, affiliate program or not, whatever. Uh, but some of the affiliate programs are a good way to get insight and connect with these companies and really be able to dig a bit deeper from a different angle angle and, and point of view. You learn a lot about companies when basically they owe you money and, and they don't pay you. For example, Calchip, the rack vendor, as well as SPNA, as well as Synchrobit, as well as Nebra, have never paid affiliate earnings. Whereas Bobcat, who shipped the most helium hotspot miners, also pay their affiliates. 
which really makes it seem like it's an honest and healthy business. But alas, what do I know? I've just been doing this all year. So let's jump back to the screen real quick and we look at the different manufacturers since we're kind of on that uh, subject, right? So you scroll through the list, you see the different, you know, manufacturers options. Some people should really just be, you know, removed from this list, listing like grouped into a small area. Like for example, we've got Clod Pie, we've got uh, Dewey Foundation and a couple others like Hummingbird. You know, just put them in a little drop down menu thing. Like we don't want to see them. They have like two, two miners on board. Obviously, some are coming soon and all that, so you know we will see where everything goes. But what I do want to focus on here is the fact that Linkstat has an incredibly small deployment. And I and one of the things that some people liked and some people didn't like is that they did like a weird whitelist pre-sale thing, and basically some people bought it and then they got their miners quick. But you know, you look at this deployment; it's very small. And it's just uh, what I think we're dealing with here is a company trying to get in on the action. And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I don't think that Linkstat is set up, you know, my research and, and the initial performance so far to say be the next biggest helium hotspot manufacturer on the network. But that's okay as long as they, you know, do a good job, make good miners and fulfill their orders. So it's not always about, you know, oh yeah, we're, we're going to make so many of these. We're going to be the most used helium hotspot miner. And so basically all you can do is just evaluate this miner, watch this review, do your own research and decide, is this the one you want, right? Do they support your area, your frequency, whatever? Do you really enjoy the fact that you can check out with a debit or credit card? Like some people don't want to buy the Bobcat Miner 300 because it can only be bought with cryptocurrency, like specifically really only USDC on the Ethereum network. And you know those Ethereum gas fees are nothing short of painful these days. So that's the real world honest take is that this miner, like the other helium hotspot miners are profitable. It works, worked right out of the box. The box is nice. The case, it looks good. It looks better in pictures probably than it does in person. The LEDs are just, they are annoying. It was just, it was just too much. I don't, I don't really understand why we went that direction. Maybe a little bit of a, you know, redesign on the case in the future would be nice and welcome, but that's very nitpicky. At the end of the day, none of us really care too much about the case. It's really about the availability above all. The best helium hotspot miner is the miner that you can get, which is why the minted drops have been cool and we're always covering them. So make sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter when it comes to that. Uh, again, you know, full disclaimer, I, I am an affiliate. We are affiliates with Linksdot. Uh, but they didn't pay us to make the video. They sent, they did send us the miner to review and all that stuff. I know, so it, it's awesome. It's an incredible fortune opportunity to be here. Um, we've been covering cryptocurrency mining full time for almost five years now. That's that's crazy, and I got gray hair thanks for that. Uh, but you know, at, at the end of the day, here, helium mining and the helium like just blockchain network is rapidly growing evolving they're definitely dealing with growing pains the app used to be so incredible now the app is so slow bogged down goes down off and just kind of sucks good thing we got these uh helium validators what, what what are they doing again sir uh, it doesn't seem like much but hey it's easy to uh it's easy to talk crap from the sideline. These things aren't easy to do. I mean, they're building out their own unique network and blockchain. It's not a copy and paste. There's growing pains. They find new, never before solved problems. They have to go through that and solve it. So it's uh, it's an incredible time to be a crypto investor and a crypto miner. But above all, obviously, it's not financial advice. I hope that you become a crypto subscriber to the Voscoin YouTube channel by slapping that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this video on the links.miner, what you want us to cover next. If I missed anything in this video, let me know. I'll do all my best to just improve. And well, that's really all you can do every day. It's just every day I just try to get a little bit better, a little bit smarter, do a little bit more. Hey, that's all you can do. So I appreciate you. We're uploading daily. I'll see you tomorrow. Please be advised. There are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money. I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.